So we've just announced two commissions today. Um, we've got a big Jimmy McGovern show, untitled at the moment, which is set in 1788 and about the birth of modern Australia, really. So it's about the convicts who were sent to Australia to begin a life. So we pick up about six months into them having started in Australia, and it really is a series about what would you do if you could begin again? How would you build society? How did they build society? Um, as well as, of course, having a crime backdrop to it in that all of these characters have got secrets. They all did something in the past. They don't all necessarily know what each other did. Jimmy came to us a couple of years wanting to do it um, and wanting to go back to his Brookside roots, actually, of taking a, finding an environment and telling a big operatic soap opera story. And that's what he's done. Um, it's really exciting. We'll be filming in Australia. It's got an enormous cast. Um, and I think it's a story that really engages people, um, but is also incredibly surprising. Uh, and then we've also commissioned a five-part mini uh, serial for um, uh, 2014 uh, for the centenary of the First World War, um, which follows two soldiers, one German and one English, um, across five years. Each episode will feature a different year and we'll see their different perspectives on what they're doing. They're very young and they don't meet each other until the end and it's about the experience on both sides of what being young during the war was like. Very powerful I think. And what are your views on the new incoming tax break for high-end drama? Um, is it a good thing or are you concerned that perhaps crews and talent will be enticed away by the big American studios? I think it's a good thing. I think it's a really exciting thing. I think it shows that um, Britain sees itself as a natural producer of television, which it is. Um, I think it's a sigh of relief for a lot of productions we're filming at the moment because they know how they can um, film in Britain, in the place where they're set, rather than film abroad. I think that's only a good thing. I think actually um, the skills of British talent working on big international projects is good for them. Obviously there comes a tipping point where there's more international projects than British projects, but we're so far from that. And the truth is that, um, you know, Britain is an amazing place to film, but not if you want to film something set in America. So for historical pieces, yes, for some fantasy pieces, yes, but actually the majority of American television is contemporary America, and it's hard to see how that's a natural fit. So I say the more the merrier. Um, I think it's really exciting for crews across the country. And at MIP TV, we've heard, particularly in Scandinavian drama, a move away from strong female leads back to strong male leads. Um, where do you stand on that? I think we have really strong male leads, actually. I think we are still improving the number of um, strong female leads. I think we've certainly seen with pieces like Prisoner's Wives and Last Tango in Halifax, amazing roles for women. Um, but it'd be great to see more and then in terms of trends I think it's different for us because we're so huge as a broadcaster I never think you should say anything's in or out really because I'd hate to say oh no we don't want enough crime and then I read a brilliant crime script what do I do um, so I think you always have to feel that you want the, the very best um, and I think you know you should aim to create trends rather than follow them